Here we will see checkbox control in Windows application. Checkbox control provides a way to make choice from a list of potential candidates. Some, all or none of the choices in a group may be selected. This is the basic layout of a checkbox control. Different properties for checkbox controls are First is name which is used to get or set the name of the control. Three letter prefix is CHK. For example, CHK select. Auto size property is used to get or set a value indicating whether the height of the control automatically adjusts when the font assigned to the control is changed. Back color property is used to get or set control's background color. Checked property is used to get or set a value indicating whether the checkbox is in checked state. Check state is used to get or set the state of the checkbox that is whether it is checked true or false. Enable property is used to get or set a value indicating whether the control can respond to user interaction. Font property is used to get or set font name, style and size of the text displayed in text box. Four color property is used to get or set the color of a text. Flat style property is used to get or set the flat style appearance of the control. Image property is used to get or set the image that is displayed on a control. Text property is used to get or set the string associated with the control. Text align property is used to get or set the text alignment displayed on text property. Tab index is used to set the index value of the control within a set of controls within its container. Visible property is used to get or set the value indicating whether the control is visible or not. Size property is used to get or set the height and width of the control. Different methods for checkbox controls are focus which is used to set the focus to the checkbox. Hide method is used to hide the checkbox. And show method is used to display the control to the user. Different events for checkbox are click which occurs when the control is clicked. Checked change event occurs when the value of the checked property changes. Got focus event occurs when the control receives the focus. Key press event occurs when the character or a spacebar or a backspace key is pressed while the control has focus. Key down event occurs when a key is pressed while the control has focus. Leave event occurs when the input focus leaves the control. Lost focus event occurs when control loses the focus. And text change event occurs when the text property value is changed. Here we will see properties, methods and events for a checkbox. So we will get a checkbox here on our form. And now the first property is name. As you know the name should be start with CHK. I will give CHK result. That is it will check the result is displayed or not. So I will give the name CHK result. Next property is auto size. If auto size property is true, 
and if we change the font it will automatically change the width and height of the checkbox and if the auto size property is false it will set the default value of height and width next is back color which is used to set the background color to change the background color next is checked if checked property is true the default value of the checkbox is true and it is in click state if it is false the default property is false and the check mark sign here is not visible check state is if it is checked the check mark is true and if it is unchecked the check mark is false next is enabled if enabled property is true and if we run it you can click on the check box that is you can change the state of the check box and if the enabled property is false and if you run it you are not able to click on it next property is font you can change the font and its size from this font property it will change four color property is used to change the text color of a font the flat style property is used to change appearance of the check box these are the different options if you select the type system you are not able to change the background color of the check box next is text text property is used to display the text on the check box if you type the result it will change the text of the check box and if the auto size property is false and if you change the height and width of the check box and we will see the text align property you can change the position of the text that you have written on the check box these are the different options next is tab index tab index property is used to set the sequence for a setting the focus through the tab key by default the first control has the tab index 0 as you add the different controls on it it will add the tab index next to it then visible property if visible property is true and if you run the check box is visible and if the visible property is false and if you run the check box is visible false and the size property is used to set the height and width of the control if i change the height it will increase the height if i change the width 
to a change the width now to check the methods of the checkbox go to the coding window by double clicking on it get the checkbox name chk result and with dot you can get the methods focus or hide or show these are the different methods you can get it with dot sign and to add the event through property window you can select the events for it so if i want to write a click event double click here you will get the chk result now you can change the background color color dot and if we run it if you click here it will change the background color here you can change the background color depend on the checked state so if chk result dot checked equal to true then change the background color to can else change the background color to yellow so if i run it and if i click here it will change the background color to can and if i unclick it will change the background color to yellow 